And welcome back to WCCF Tech TV everyone, it's Keith once again, and the first Intel Z390 motherboard has just appeared on Sysoft Sandra's database, revealing that the new products based on the upcoming chipset may arrive sooner than expected. The Intel Z390 is not a new name that we've been hearing of. It appeared months ago before the Coffee Lake S launch, and at that time there was no evidence why Intel was producing the chipset, but later, we got to learn that the chipset will be designed to support 8 core CPUs that Intel will be launching in 2018 to compete against AMD's Ryzen processor of the same tier. With Copy Lake S, Intel has already brought the first core count bump to the mainstream platform in several years, which can be seen as a direct response to AMD's Ryzen family. But Intel still lags behind in the mainstream core count and has two less cores than what AMD offers. Sure, Intel has their IPC lead, but users looking for that slight extra edge that you get with the two additional cores will see Ryzen as the more appealing option over Coffee Lake. Or onto the recent leak. We're looking at the first official confirmation that Z390 does indeed exist. This Supermicro C7Z390-PGW has just appeared on the Sysoft Sandra database and has been tested with in an Intel CPU which seems to be an engineering sample of sorts. Quite weird that the chip was not detected by the software since Coffee Lake S support had, has been added, and that could mean one of two things. Either the board is so fresh that it cannot detect the CPU itself, leading the database error, or it's an entirely new processor altogether. Now do note that the processor is listed as a 92 watt rather than 95 watt for the 8700K. Aside from that, the CPU does have similar specs compared to the Core i7-8700K. So it's leading us to believe that it was this is what was used, but an early BIOS failed to properly register it. Now aside from that, the Z390 motherboard comes with an Anquinta Action 5 gigabit network and was tested with 64 gigabytes of DDR4 memory. There are no results that we can compare it with right now, but we have details from certain manufacturers that Intel is definitely pushing the Z390 boards to hit the market sooner rather than later. We were advised of the time frame of the first half of 2018 instead of the second half of 2018 as indicated on earlier roadmaps. And we'll make sure to keep you posted more on the Z390 motherboard as news appears and we might be expecting to see this sometime around CES 2018. And if things go the way they're looking, we'll be there to cover CES again this year. So stay tuned here to WCCF Tech TV for the latest and updated information as we get it. And we will see you all in the next video.